Dear Dorothy, an old dream of mine is coming true, yet I do not feel entirely happy. I have long been preparing for Spain, and I have heard and read so many good things about Toledo. Still, although I know I am in no immediate danger, I do not feel safe on this strange journey. Perhaps I make too much of odd coincidences and the meaning of the mysterious manuscripts. Whatever it is, I have a growing sense that a strange fog surrounds this story whose characters, including me, of course know nothing about what's going on around them. Do not worry. These doubts are not driving me insane. It's just that I feel more and more like a detective, a hound pursuing a trail, instead of a cultural historian who's commissioned by the British Museum and sets out to search for a few forgotten board games. Perhaps I shall soon find out what my real role is in this whole story. I am on the last stretch of an unpleasant coach journey in which my only fellow passengers are a rather rough priest and my unquiet thoughts. Soon we shall arrive in Toronto. Your letter reached me at the hotel in Madrid. Thank you very much for the idea. I shall look up your old drawing teacher, Mr. Salvador Diaz Palencia. I believe he will be helpful in my search for the descendant of the cursed family a man by the name of Candelas, your loving husband, Sam. Fabulous city, Toledo, the jewel box of European culture. If my Dorothy's memory was not failing her, the painter must live here, in this quarter, 